Hey Skyler, this is Brian. Just uh, gonna go over a few guitar tips for you. So, um, one of the best ways when you heard you got a new guitar, by the way, that's really cool. So, anyway, one of the best things you can do is to first start out, especially when you don't know anything um, about the guitar. Um, I didn't have a clue when I started, but the best thing to do is pick it up and play with it. And one of the things that helps out a lot, I always have done this, is finger stretching. Just kind of stretch your fingers like this, each of them. And then also I do the pretzel thing where I just kind of twist them like this. And this will help a lot with your finger dexterity and playing chords and scales and getting your fingers to cooperate on the guitar neck. So. That's a real important thing to do that a few times a day, especially before you start out. And also, I'm not on the guitar here. We got the guitar neck. Basically, you got six right. strings: six, five, four, three, two, one. And basically, the, a little exercise you can do with your left hand would be: this would be finger number one two, three, and pinky is four, and on your guitar neck, you get your six strings, and if you play a string without pushing down any notes, that's called open, so that would be your six string open, fifth string open, and so on, and also here, um, you got these little bars, these are called frets, and you don't want to push your finger on the bar, you want to put your finger right between the bar somewhere and um, like that. Now this first box is called the first fret position and that second is the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. The twelfth has, uh, well some of them have two dots. So you have little dots here to kind of help uh, know where you are on the neck. So if I say play the sixth string third fret that would be six string but to you move your finger down and play the one two third third fret like that but until you learn to read the music uh, and tab and things um, one thing you can do is get your fingers used to playing on the guitar neck and both fingers coordinated so one thing that I like to do or to get people at least playing um, is take your first finger on the thick string, the sixth string, first fret, get that one, and then play the second finger on the second fret, and then the third finger on the third fret, and the fourth finger on the fourth fret. And you do the same thing on the next string, and just kind of work your way across the neck. And um, so that that will kind of help. You want to play it nice and slow and accurate, and that'll build up your finger strength. So that's a good way to kind of start. And then uh, and then there's all you know chords that you'll want to learn. So open chords. There's a lot of them. Those are kind of group of notes together. And this uh, setting I have now is uh, on a clean channel, so you get the real pretty sound. Like that. And then for the good old fun stuff, rock and roll here, uh, I just put it on the lead channel. You can get all that mean, grindy sound to drive you mother crazy, which I used to a lot. And anyway, there's a lot of 
really neat and fun cool things you can do on the guitar and I'm just gonna demonstrate noodle around play a few little things and um, that way you can get an idea of what this thing will do also before I do that um, also one of the things holding your guitar you want to hold it up close to yourself and I kind of just rest my arm off the uh, body here holding it close I use my left hand to kind of guide the thing and when I'm holding my pick I usually unless I'm strumming an acoustic I usually sometimes strumming an acoustic I use a thin uh, pick and hold it with three fingers but if I'm playing electric I usually just hold it between my thumb and first finger kind of kind of like that I don't know if you can see that or not but uh, and I don't squeeze very hard I use a I use a very thick pick when I play electric it just helps with my picking speed um, but also I don't squeeze it real hard you can almost pull it out of my hand I, and, uh, and when you play it's it's with the wrist not your forearm but it's all all your speed comes from <laughs> comes from the wrist and there's a uh, there's a lot of things that you'll learn but don't get discouraged because you won't learn it overnight uh, it took me a while so but it's fun and as you know you try to learn little things at a time and I'm just going to jam a little bit for you and make some noise and, and uh, see what you think <laughs> Until then, it's Brian signing out. Have a good one.